What's up guys, how we going? Tuck Shop here, welcome back to another episode of the Hardcore Iron Man Progress. This is the 12th installment now of this series. If you guys haven't already watched the previous episodes, go back, check them out, and then catch up on the series. In this episode, we explore a lot of different sorts of PVMing, and we've got a lot of skilling goals as well as a couple of quests as well. So without any further ado, let's dive straight into it. Leave this video a thumbs up before you even watch it because uh, it's a fucking banger. Let's go! Our episode today begins at the very start of the month. So of course our monthly resets being Troll Invasion, our God Statues and our Oyster. So we get all of those done as soon as they're available. This time I decided to use my statues experience on Slayer. Um, we're working up those Slayer levels since I've already got relatively high prayer. One of my new favorite dailies is player owned farms. I go every single day, check the farm. I love to see how all the animals progress and you level up so quickly. The experience is insane. There's 92 farming already which allows me to breed the dragon egg that I got in a previous episode. Just a quick reminder, I stream every single day on Twitch, so all of the clips you see in this video, this is the sort of things that we do every single night when I stream. And uh, if this is what you like, then feel free to come pop over. Uh, here we are diving into a little bit of a Raxor. I make it a daily every single day when the game resets. I do a little bit of a rack saw to just try and finish off the weapons. Um, I'm currently incredibly dry and uh, yeah, losing a bit of motivation, but we're powering through. So there's the pheromone, which allows me to reset my daily rack saw in rage. And then I can do it again on stream that night. Up next, me and my crew decided to do a little bit of uh, care pack. The only drop I've received here is the, the, the scripture of Jazz, which is the, the book slot, the God book. Um, it's got a pretty cool passive effect. I really like Karapak, especially the time warp mechanic. If you guys haven't tried the boss yet, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Um, but here we are, two hardcores um, doing a little bit of Karapak. It's good content and always good fun with my crew. This next clip here is me getting 93 Herblore. This level was of significance to me because I can use the spicy stew, which you know I love, to boost to 99, which is the level requirement for perfect plus potions, which is the combination of all of the juju pots. The only thing is though, you actually have to go and unlock it from um, Dungeoneering to get all the Milo recipes, um, but we're going to get that done as well. So 93 Herb, looking good. Another good daily I would recommend everybody do is a farming tree run. I got all of my magic seeds from killing a Raxor. I have a couple of hundred, so every day I go around to all of the different tree spots and plant my magic seed, come back and harvest it the next day. There's 93 farming, and it's coming along quite nicely alongside Herblore. I did some casual Talos kills, just uh, low streaks, zero to whatever, until I felt like I wanted to claim. Um, the drops from this boss are really, really nice in terms of commons. You get energies, you get money, you get a little bit of everything. And of course, I'm trying to spoon a little bit of a rare drop, but there we go. There's a nice little streak we're working on. Let's keep pushing. So prior to this, I was using Malevolent, which I got from doing rots. Um, Malevolent does degrade, and my Malevolent had started to break. I had to substitute pieces of Bandos. It was it was a whole mess, so I just said, fuck it. It's time to make Masterwork. So the next couple of clips will be me making the rest of my Masterwork. There is the first piece, that's the boots. Up next, this is the Masterwork Plate Legs. I cannot stress enough how long this took. I'd say around 18 hours to do all of the mining and the smithing. Um, and even before that, you have to get 99 smithing. So look, this is a whole process, but I promise it is worth it. This is my third time making Masterwork on Iron Man accounts. Um, and every single time you get a huge uh, wave of relief come over you when you complete it. Up next, this is the Masterwork Plate Body. 
Um, the only piece I didn't make was the gloves because I've already got a death touch bracelet which will be best in slot for the foreseeable future at least until I get Cinderband gloves um, but yeah there's the masterwork plate body one more piece to go so since I'll no longer be using Bandos or my Malevolent I decided to break them down um, and you get a little bit of invention experience as well which is nice I also wanted my perks back and I was too lazy to use the separator so fucking see you malevolent you were good to me for a little bit but it's time to move on to bigger and better things and that will be my masterwork in the future I'm gonna have to work on getting some rune pouches and for that I'm doing the abyss runs I really wanted to maximize my efficiency for threads and you get that by using as much essence as possible so I decided to just grind out 93 summoning that's the abyssal titan and this will speed up my rune crafting quite a lot if you're watching this video right now and you have your hand on your nuts make sure you leave a thumbs up this is 110 invention we are slowly but surely working towards 120, no particular rush, I'm sure we'll get there eventually with the amount of PVM I do on this account, but uh, that's my first 110, looking pretty good. A little bit of backstory on this upcoming clip taken from my Twitch, I was approximately 400 kills dry on the top path, I had done every single day, every single top path rotation, no matter what the other paths were. Um, I was really starting to worry whether or not I was ever going to get a top leg, um, but here we go. Araxi's eye! I actually got it, finally! 400 fucking kills, man! 400 kills, dude! Four... Oh, I'm lightheaded. 400 kills, man! 400! Still working on some of my Talos kills and rotations. Not really after anything in particular at this point. Yet again, just hunting some of those commons. Um, I switched the magic combat style. That's what I'm most familiar with on my main. Um, but yeah, just kind of chipping away at it and you never know what will happen. That's uh, progress. After a short little break, I decided to head back and finish off the masterwork and my god, I can't describe the feeling you get when you finally finish it. Yes! 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 Masterwork finished! Never again, dude. Never ever again. Now I'm just going to augment it quickly. The next clip here is me opening up all of my Sandy Clue Scrolls. So if you didn't know, the beach event gave you essentially a double um, double casket for easy clues. So I was hunting fortunate components, trying to make another alchemical hydrix to repair my EOF. Um, but here we are opening up all of them. I think I ended up getting about six fortunates from 20 caskets. Um, not too bad. I would have hoped for more, but we can't complain. They're really easy clue scrolls and very easy to get. Here I am doing a one of my Reaper tasks. I'm hoping in the future to unlock Reaper's Choice so I can actually choose which tasks I want to do. This isn't one of my favorites, but the Reaper points are pretty good. And we managed to get ourselves a nice little drop here. Um, I just got a pet. Hmm. Interesting. Managed to snatch up a quick little level here while I was AFKing. This is 83 cooking, but not only that, this is 2,500 total level. That's a cool little milestone. I never really thought I would get this far in the hardcore when I first started it, uh, but I've fallen in love with the game mode and let's keep going. Every day, or at least when I remember, I do my Jack of Trades aura. Um, this is a relatively fast way of getting an XP reward lamp. Um, all you got to do is gain XP in either 10, 15, or 20 skills, depending um, on what aura you've got. Uh, but here I am. I'm using my book here on archaeology. This was my last level. That was 60. And there we go, the broadcast. All levels 60. We, uh, we are definitely getting up there. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a skiller now. Here we are back again on that clue scroll opening grind. I'm still hunting those fortunate components. 
think my drop rate's like one in five um, for fortunate to clue in um, in comparison to the ratio. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, to me, I hate clue scrolls, but you know what? It's uh, It sure is satisfying opening them up when you get a nice little stack. We're just gonna keep pushing and get as many fortunates as we can. Back again for another hour of care pack with Micro. We didn't get any drops. This time I decided to try melee. Um, it is really, really fast burst damage. Because of the time warp, you can zerk twice. Um, I'm really enjoying Karapak duo mode at the moment. Again, not really hunting anything in particular. It would be nice to get the Greater Concentrated Blast Codex. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the book. And every time you kill it, you get a chance to get more pages to top it up. So we're just going to keep going and who knows what we'll get. Here was a really fun, engaging, exciting, and totally not a huge waste of time quest. This was Rune Memories. The reason I needed this quest done was so that I could have access to um, this cunt's rune chest, which you get uh, pure essence in relation to what level you've got. So every time you get a new rune crafting level, you go and check the chest, and there will be more pure essence, and this will help me on my grind towards getting all of my rune pouches through the abyss. Final clip of this episode, this is me getting insanely lucky from the trapper. This is my third yak, my second spirit yak. I've already got some females. All I needed was a male. So here we go. I'm rolling the dice. I'm absolutely praying for a, a, a male yak. And we did manage to get it. So that's a breeding pair. I'm going to go and get my yaks to fuck. And we're going to get a whole lot of beans from it. Thank you guys very, very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it this far, please leave it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you'd like to see in a future episode. As always, I stream on Twitch full time every single day. Come and pop in and say hello or just come in and listen to the music, whatever you want. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.